Please be seated. My husband, he said it was coming. Tsunami, earthquake, oh, I don't know what. Complete devastation, he said. Yeah, right, I say. He's getting like that, getting older, conjuring strange ideas. God told him, he said, oh, whatever. But he's convinced the children. And every day as I cook and I wash, I see them out there building that hateful thing. An ark, they say. Okay. What I see is a frightful future. A barren land, soaked, empty, void of people, friends, people to help, people to care. Calm down, he says. It'll be all right. God will be with us. Right, I say. Will God be there when we hear the cries of our friends, our kin, calling for rescue from the deepening, smothering waters? Will God be there when the blessed flocks of our animals turn to us with innocent eyes, depending on us for safety as in the past? Will God be there when we see the future lives of our children drowning with the land, the crops, our sweet, solid home. But I'm a woman. What choice do I have? I'm his chattel. So I will cook, and I will wash, and I will wish that I had been left behind with the others. A quick death, safe beneath the water, protected from the dreadful hard scrabble life that God has planned for us. My husband, handsome when he was young, but now he's just a wild-eyed zealot that talks to God like a child with an imaginary friend. I'm done with him and his God. Done. Done. But what choice do I have? So I will cook, and I will wash, and I will wait for the first dusty raindrops to poison my future in a desolated land with only that old man for comfort. <laughs> you poor Mrs. Noah. <laughs> she sure got the short end of the stick, didn't she? She doesn't even have a real name in the Bible. She wasn't there when God talked to Noah. She wasn't consulted about the kitchen or the living arrangements in the ark. She wasn't given a choice about whether or not to spend all those weeks in a stinking ark with all those wild animals and no television or internet access. <laughs> in a dark boat completely lined for waterproofing with highly flammable pitch, she had to cook for the family over an open flame. <laughs> and finally, she was told to help repopulate the muddy, empty world with a husband that was over 500 years old. Holy moly. <laughs> I think church later would say, isn't that special? <laughs> you know, we're really lucky here in Arizona, and maybe this week has really brought it home to us with the terrible storm on the East Coast. We never worry about lengthy floods or tsunamis or volcanoes. 